The ban list just dropped and you know what time it is. It is time for Celza to solve the, the format. Now there are so many crazy hits on this ban list. And if I miss any of the decks that you think are really good or just I should mention, just leave it in the comment section below. I tried my hardest to like get all these decks. But just let's get started. Let's start with Centurion. Centurion is, I don't think it's going to be better than tier 2, or tier, yeah. I don't think it's going to be better than tier 2. It's a really solid deck. Uh, can play a lot of hand traps, can play a lot of engines. Uh, has a solid win condition in Calamities, and yeah, just, it's a really solid mid-range deck, I think. Because they didn't ban Calamities, this deck is going to pretty much be one of the best tier 2 decks in the format. I don't think it's just quite tier 1. Uh... Runic, Fur Hire, I think this deck is still kind of rogue. I would put it into tier 3 because I think, uh, in terms of power level, I think the deck is really good. I think Hand Traps are still going to be in the format. Probably not as much. We'll have to see because Infer uh, Infernoble is now hit. And I think that deck is close to being dead. I'm, I'm not pretty sure, but we'll get to that in a bit. But uh, Runic, Fur Hire, really good. It just thrives when there's less Hand Traps in the format and more Board Breakers because this deck relies too heavily on board breakers being good so we'll, we'll see about that same thing with the live twin deck i think they're about the same power level it's just like what is better in that particular format but i think they're kind of like on the same level in terms of runic engines next up is pk i think pk is also really solid i think it's a solid rogue deck i don't think it's like too crazy but it's like it can set up a board it has like decent options you know the horse cards are pretty decent in it the adventure cards are really good in it as well and it's just i know i don't know it's just like a combo deck that has a lot of follow-up it's kind of like mid-rangey as well uh it has a lot of layered inter interruptions in terms of like it can have sp it can have like the traps in the graveyard to summon back the uh the xyz i forgot its name break sword and then you have the fog blades as well so it has like layered disruptions you can also have the hand traps as well so I think that PK is in a very solid spot. It, again, it's like kind of the same because it can't play that many going second cards if you're playing like the adventurous stuff, the horror stuff and all that stuff. So you don't only have like six to maybe eight going second cards like Ash Blossom and Talents and stuff like that. So I don't know. I think it's pretty solid. I think it's pretty decent rogue deck. Uh, let's go to the Cybers decks. We have Marine Cess, Salamangrate, Great. And oh boy, I am glad to talk about Circular. Because this deck is trash. I am so glad that they ban Math Mech Circular. Because I fucking hate Math Mech. Man, this deck is so annoying. I'm so glad. I play against this deck in Master all the time. I'm like, man, why you open up Circular, Maxi, Call by Ash, like Nibiru? Like, I, like how? Like, how? I'm so glad this deck is gone. Next up is Marine Cess. I think Marine Cess is pretty solid. I think it's a pretty solid, like, tier 3 deck. I think that... If we do turn into like still a hand trap format, I think that Marine Cess is going to be in a solid position and it's going to be really, really solid. I think same thing with Salomon Grape. I think a lot of people have been saying like the, the Salomon Grape deck is going to get better with the Princess uh, Link 3 and that could be possible. But I think for right now, I think Marine Cess is about better than Salomon Grape because Marine Cess just can naturally play a lot of hand traps. You don't really specifically need like certain cards and yeah i think the deck is just pretty solid i think they're just pretty decent they're both like hand trap decks but i i, th I just think marine says is better because of bias i don't know let's go on let's just go with dynamorphia dynamorphia is always like a rogue deck again i think this deck is just if it's a really good solid counter pick to a lot of the meta decks then you definitely play it otherwise i don't think it's that good it's it's one of those decks same thing with like exo sisters like does it counter the meta? If it does, it's pretty solid against the, for the the meta. This can like go from like absolutely trash in the meta to being like a wisest winning deck because apparently that happened twice. Uh, Flounderies again. This deck it does depend on like if hand traps are solid in the format. If hand traps are really powerful in the format, like Droll and Imperm and Valor. Then uh, Florinderies is going to be pretty bad. But it's a pretty solid tier 3 deck, I, I feel like. Next up, let's go with... Let's just go with Branded. I think Branded is... I really like to downplay Branded, but I think Branded is like a solid tier 2 deck. I think because you have the Puppet Lock... And I, I guess they put the Chimera deck as well. 
Chimera is kind of like the same thing, but I feel like the Branded deck has been doing a little bit better because you can do the puppet lock and stuff like that. And Chimera Branded uh, kind of relies on, even Chimera in general, they just rely on hand traps being uh, not that good in the format. Like the only hand traps people are playing like Ash and Imperm. That's when like Chimera Branded is like kind of better or like any Chimera deck. But Branded could just kind of still games because you know the puppet lock is still a thing and they didn't hit that as well so i think these are pretty solid tier two decks let's move on to dark world dark world's another deck if joel's in the format like this deck is like kind of trash same thing with shifter if shifter's in the format this deck's kind of trash other than that it's like a super super toxic go first combo deck so i think it's pretty solid especially because one of the uh dweller decks are just now like hit in tier so yeah i think that dark worlds is in a pretty solid spot i think it's pretty decent right now but who knows we just don't know what the hand traps are in the format next up is labyrinth i think labyrinth i want to say it's tier two but with no hits on the ban list every other deck being hurt i think Labyrinth's gonna be tier one uh, especially with the rollback card that we're getting in a couple of months like one to two months from now I think Labyrinth is definitely one of the best decks in the format. I I'm not sure about Tier 1. I think it's like top at Tier 2. But that could just be me. That could just be me. Uh, Manadium. It's really hard to say where Manadium's at. But I think Manadium's one of the best decks in the format. I think it's probably the best combo deck now that Infernoble is hit. I think that Manadium... It depends on if Droll. If people are still playing Droll, then like... That could be pretty problematic, but I still think it's a, a very strong uh, deck in the format. Uh, purely, we'll just get the meta decks out the way. Like, purely, let's go with tier limits. Let's go with Unchained. And let's go with Infernoble. Let's get these out the way. Rescue Ace, Fire Kings. Let's get all these decks out the way. Uh, Mechanko, there we go. And, and Dragon Link. Let's put Dragon Link as well. And uh, Cash Tira. There we go. Let's go all these meta decks out of the way. For Pearly, I still think Pearly is a pretty solid tier 2 deck. I don't know. I think the Sleeping Memory the 2, or yeah, Sleeping Memory the 2 was kind of a really problematic hit. Because now you can't really guarantee the Sleeping Memory. But I still think Pearly is pretty solid. It still has a decent amount of quick play spells. It can go second really, really good. Like this deck is still one of the most craziest going second decks uh right now in the current format so i wouldn't be surprised if people went back to like going second breaking boards with happy memory and yeah i think this deck is still pretty good i think it's pretty solid uh tier i'm not gonna say it's unplayable but it's definitely a rogue deck like without a Gito and kel back the deck just doesn't do as much as it did before it doesn't snowball as as well as it did and i think the deck's still pretty solid i mean you can still play the deck but i still think tier without the you don't kill back they don't really have a solid like win condition they don't have this like crazy gamble like go crazy uh combo line that they had before so i think tier is just like a, a rogue deck unchained i think unchained is still pretty powerful i'm just not sure how consistent it is with Charvara at one, it does really hurt it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in tier two for, for now. I think that uh, Unchained is pretty hurt, but when it, it when it combos, it's like super scary. But Charvara being at one means that this deck doesn't play around hand traps all too well, because they would use like Charvara to dodge Imperm and Valor and stuff like that. But now they don't have that anymore. So I just I just don't know how. While they play around hand traps as well as playing uh, through disruption as well. And the grind game is a lot less uh, strong with Shavar at 2 as well. So we'll see what Unchained does. I think it's like still a solid deck when it gets to play. But I don't know. I feel like there's other solid decks in the format. Infernoble. I think Infernoble. I think it's still pretty solid. People think that I sold kills the deck. But I think the deck... You, I mean, you still have Angelica, the, the Synchro 5 or whatever, that still, like, does a lot. You still have Museum. You still have all these, like, new cards, Angel Angelica's Ring and stuff like that. I think the deck is still pretty solid. You still have Con uh, Connector. That, that card is still insanely broken. But 
I'm just not sure like what the combo does anymore. I think you don't even play Connector anymore because Connector doesn't get to sold. So I, I guess you're gonna start playing like I I don't even know at this point. Maybe they're trash. I don't know. I, I will say they're in rogue because there's still some combos you can do with Infernobles. I just don't know if they're as good as they were before. Uh, Rescue Ace, I think, is the best deck of the format. Even though Labyrinth is at full power, I still think Airlifter 1 just doesn't do much. I mean, you can play like another Hydrant. People play two Hydrants, you can go to three. Uh, Black Witch is a two of or one of. That can go to three. Like, you could play, like, more the Sinful Swole e Telly card. That, like, I think Rescue Ace is pretty solid. I think the two best active format definitely are Rescue Ace and Labyrinth. Uh, Mechanko. I think Mechanko is probably close to being one of the best decks in the format. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Well, hold up. Hold up. I forgot they, they lost the soul. Wait a second. That might put Mechanko back to road. Because Mechanko used to use I Soul. And now they don't have I sold anymore. Yeah, I think maybe maybe Konami was cooking with this uh, a sold ban because now Makenko and Infernobles lost their like super combo line. So yeah, I think Makenko is definitely rogue tier right now. Um, Dragon Link, I think Dragon Link's pretty solid. I don't know where to put it at. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Probably somewhere right here. I, I don't know. I think Dragon Link is still pretty decent. You still have three Lubellion. You still have one Magna Mud. You still have Cast Space at one. Like, the deck is still pretty solid. I don't know. Maybe it's a little bit better than Pearly. I'm not sure about this. I'm not sure about Dragon Link. Dragon Link has fallen off. It was, like, really decent in the beginning of the format. And now, like, we're at, like, the end of the format. It, it kind of just fell off and just hasn't done anything, like, nearly as much. So... We'll see about this. I think Bestial uh, Runic, or not Bestial Runic, uh, Bestial Dragon Link is still like pretty solid. Uh, Fire Kings, I think Fire Kings are really good. I think they get way better with the new support. If we're talking about the new support, they're definitely tier one. But without the new support, I think they're pretty solid tier two decks. Um, yeah, Fire Kings, they, they have a lot. It's just like they're kind of fragile to like Ash Blossom on the field spell. But besides that, they can play through a lot of hand traps. With the Dao Bell Star and the, the, the Nazir Servant Package. Like, like this deck is pretty scary when it's, it starts to get rolling. Because once this deck gets rolling, it's kind of hard to uh, remove these cards. Because it's kind of like Unchained to where, like, they're very sticky in terms of removing them off the field. So, I think Fire Kings is definitely pretty solid in terms of, like, once, once the deck gets rolling. It's kind of like Unchained. Like, that's the, that's the best explanation of this deck. And... Yeah, I think they're both, like, at the same power level. Uh, Cash Tira, I think, is a solid Tier 3 deck. I think it's one of the best Tier 3 decks right now, especially because Fenrir is still at 3, and Unicorn went to 3. So now they have a Consistency Boof. Now they have they have 3 Fenrir, 3 Unicorn, 3 Field Spell. That's that's absolutely crazy. And they can still play Shifter. Shifter does very well against the format. Still, without Tillaments being in the format. So I think Cash Tira is pretty solid it's like one of the best anti-meta decks maybe even tier two maybe it's probably better than some of these other decks like i think cash tier is one of the most underrated decks of the format if i had to be honest maybe i'll put like branded kind of like at the bottom of the tier three because i don't think it's that good so yeah, something like this i think i think cash tier is pretty solid i think cash tier is definitely one of the most underrated decks right now speedroids uh as much as i want to cope and say that speedroids is pretty solid i still think it's like a rogue deck i still think it's like okay i mean it's it's still like a deck that doesn't put that many disruptions on the board it relies too much on hand traps um with unicorn going to three though it definitely helps speedroids but i still feel like speedroid they just don't do as much like i, I think tier is probably a little bit better than that because i mean they have they still have a lot of cards. They still have three field spell. They still have three tier cash. They still have three scream. They still have like all these other stuff that is pretty solid. I don't know. No, I don't know about speed raids. I think it's cope. I think it's cope. As much as I love speed raids, I, th I don't think it's like that good. Uh, Velmonica trash. Mementos trash. Sky Striker with three end gauge. I'm pretty sure it went to three. Man, there was so many hits on the ban list. I don't even know. Um, Sky Striker. I mean, it's it's a rogue deck. It's a rogue deck. I don't even know what up with this. It, it's 
uh, they have mind control, which could be pretty solid. Pinkertops at three. I mean, they could break boards, but their board did, like they if you if they go first, what do they do? They set a widow anchor pass and they they search and engage. That's so crazy. Like any of these decks can OTK. Like rescues can OTK that. Manadium would definitely destroy that. Um, Pearly would probably set up a new war, and you can't get rid of that. Borland is, I guess Borland is kind of whatever. But the Bissios are really good against Ray. Like Unchain, like okay, like they, they just break through your board anyways. Same thing with Fire Kings, unless you have like Ash Blossom on the the field spell may, that may hurt the deck. But like all these other decks, they don't really care about that. They just OTK you. They just, if you don't kill them, you just kill sky striker I, I just don't know i just don't know um sword soul it's just a rogue deck like it's whatever sword soul it, it just plays a lot of hand traps sets up like chi shao plus baron it's just not that great uh vanguard soul i think vanguard soul is a pretty solid deck i think it's one of the better hand trap decks in the format um i'm trying to think i think rescue ace is a pretty terrible matchup so Maybe it's a little bit worse. And then Labyrinth as well could be pretty scary for uh, Van Crystal as well. Um, yeah, Van Crystal also it relies too much on Ryzen. So I think it's kind of like whatever. Um, Infernity, still trash. Um, Sun Avalon, I don't think this deck is terrible right now. I don't think it's bad. I think Dryass Limit and Healer Limit, I mean, it makes the combo a little bit more fragile. But they still have Jasmine at three. They still have like... All these other Rika cards at three. I don't think the deck is like too dead. I don't. I, they're the combo is definitely going to change, and it's probably going to be a little bit more fragile, and you won't be able to do it. Like if they stop the dry ass, you won't have a second dry ass to rely on. But I still think it's pretty solid. I don't. I, I don't think it's too dead. I don't think it's too dead. Orcus is like I guess at the bottom of Rogue. I don't think it's absolutely trash, but it's not that good. We still have Fist Steals. You have Runics and stuff like that. They can just banish the heart for it. I guess you can get it back with Galatea and stuff like that. But there's just too much counterplay to Orcus now. And, like, the, the boards they make is just not that good. I, I don't know. It's just... It's kind of bad. Uh, Runic Stun. Runic Stun is just... Bro, this deck is almost trashed here. They lost Gozen. Rivalry. Uh, there can only be one. Like, they only have Skill Drain at three. Like, what, what does this deck do? Like, you... Like, you can't Floodgate anymore. You really can't Floodgate. You can play lo Lose One Turn, like, uh, Grave of the Super Asian Organism. Like, I, I don't know, dude. Like, what Floodgates do you even play anymore? Like, this deck is kind of bad right now. I, I think this deck is almost unplayable. I think it's still pretty solid, I guess, because you still have two Fountain. It's still playable as an engine. But, like, the pure Runic Stun deck, just not really that good. And then, Bestial Runic? Um, the Joshua Schmidt deck. Um, I think it's pretty solid. I think it's like a solid tier three deck. Um, it does decent against uh Labyrinth. It does decent against uh I think it does decent against Dragon Link, and maybe even Unchained now that they're weakened as well. Um, I think it's like a solid tier two deck actually. Somewhere like right here, like somewhere right like right here maybe. I don't know. I think this is like probably it. Yeah, I, I think this list is pretty solid. Let me know what you guys think about this list. I'm not too sure about a lot of things, but I think that definitely Rescue Ace is going to be tier one. I think Labyrinth, I'm not sure about Labyrinth. Maybe Manatom's a little bit better. Maybe Dragon Link's a little bit better. Uh, maybe Untamed's still pretty solid, but I think that Shavar 1 is. Yeah, Shavar 2 1 is just too hard of a hit. Um, I'm not sure about anything else. I think besides like Rescue Ace and Labyrinth, I think everything else just seems kind of a little bit too weak for me to even put them in tier one. Because like Medanium just loses to Droll too hard sometimes. Uh, maybe maybe that could be proven wrong with Triff like winning a regional or whatever. Uh, Dragon Link just seems kind of underwhelming sometimes. And it does have like some decent bad matchups like Labyrinth's kind of a... A wonky matchup if you don't draw like a lot of bestials to like hit the uh, furniture stuff purely i think purely could be a really solid option i don't know it could be a little bit better unchained i'm not sure because charvara was like the main way to play through hand traps um 
Runic Bistio, I'm not sure too much about because this deck loses if there's a lot of hand traps in the format, as well as like spell trap guard negates or like hard omni negates. Um, and then like these other decks are kind of like rogue decks, or not not like rogue decks, but they're kind of like solid mid range decks that don't do anything too crazy. All right. So let me know what you guys think about this list. Uh, if I missed anything, again, just leave it in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys later.